<laughs> I think I already know the answer for you. So when I choose to, that's how. <laughs> yeah, when you want to. Right. Is that what you want? I mean, that's that's what it is. Because right. people people like they they complain in the comments like Yo, he, he probably don't got the interview. It's like with Angie Martinez with her pocket interview. I don't think she really got nothing. You know what I mean? People have their doubts. I mean, that's not true. <laughs> Um, yeah, I think so. I mean, this is all speculation, right. but I, Tupac was doing a lot of that stuff for effect. You know what I mean? And I don't, I don't think that his, if if it was if it had played out in a different way, that he would have held a grudge. You know what I mean? There wasn't really much to hold a grudge to. You know what I mean? I get, I get what what he was thinking about at the time and how emotional he was. Mm-hmm. Same thing happened with his friend uh, with, with Stretch. There was just there was something that could have blew over if it hadn't been for other factors. I, I don't believe it. You know what I mean? I, I don't know anything about. I don't know enough about any of the the family or whatever, whatever it was, but from the little I do know, I I don't I tend not to believe that. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think he was definitely preparing to do um, more independent, less simply West Coast, you know, um, music and projects. I think he was trying to expand and like. You know, it's like what we, you know, what we talked about being that hip hop was like ghetto politics. You know, he was trying to be president. He wasn't trying to just be the head of one side of hip hop. He wanted to be the head of all of it. You know what I mean? So I think his ambition was that he was gonna somehow unite everybody under one banner kind of thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm sure he would. I mean, so I wonder how it would have played out. You know what I mean? If they were still, if, if you look at it, you know what happened with him and Nas. They figured it out at the end. You know what I mean? He was. Um, Pac was beefing with him. He he popped off. You know, and then yeah, they, he, they figured it out once they saw each other. But I don't think Pac fucked Nas's wife. No? You know, you know. I'm trying to make a point as far as like how serious. Yeah, what is the point? <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to say like the the, the beef with um, Big was more serious than it was with Nas. Obviously, yeah. I'm just saying that you know Tupac was a mercurial figure and he could change lanes like right. very quickly. It depended on what what he was trying to do at the time. That's true. The Pac noted. I mean, I'm sure he assumed that. You know, I'm sure he assumed that that his life was in danger from various factors, and Puffy being one of them. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't you, you don't have to call out a hit to have somebody that is bailing you. You know what I mean? To put in work or whatever it is. Um, so I'm sure he knew that he his life was threatened, not not just by Puffy, but by a lot of a lot of people. Mm-hmm. Nah, he knew, he knew he was going to die early, you know what I mean, it's it's all throughout his music, he talked about it, he just decided that whatever, however he was going to go out, he was going to become a a myth, you know what I mean, He, he consciously, you know, ran toward that iconic, status mm. you know he was crafting it always you know what I mean you think about it the, the last video he shot he's in heaven you know what I mean in a white suit that that's how much he was kind of thinking about his legacy mm-hmm. um, I think what he's asking is how how involved was Snoop um, I think it, if I'm not mistaken, at the time, Snoop and Pac weren't really talking. Um, but as far as 
Snoop knowing that there was there was a hit on, out on him or anything like that, I think that's that's just a lot of speculation that you'll never know. Mm. Um, I mean, Snoop, you know, later obviously was stay cool with Bad Boy. Still, you know, what I mean, I guess you could say that the the Blood Crip lines was. Um, was not being violated in that way. That the Crips in on death row had access to other Crip information, I guess. But like I said, it's all speculation. Um, it's not worth uh, investigating because you'll never find out. I mean, I took him for his word. He was saying that it was a distraction from actually people getting sh shit done. You know what I mean? It's like a psychological thing of like, if the Illuminati are all powerful and they can do whatever they want, is you know, um, they can see you in your bedroom. What's the point of fighting? You know what I mean? And that, I think that's what Pac was really kind of emphasizing. It's like, I don't believe in that because I'm making my own world the way I want it to be, you know what I mean? And first thing I'm gonna do is k kill off any idea of these all-powerful beings because nobody's all-powerful, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? And um, I think that's that's critical as a psychological tool. Like, it, the more power you give to this idea of Illuminati, the less power you have. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I think that's, that's what he meant by Illuminati. I mean, uh, Cause <laughs> I know this is this this has been like an ongoing thing with him as far as him. Is it, he just to me is very confusing? But I would love to hear your thoughts. I mean, I do I do feel a little bit of clout chasing going on with with his um, ongoing um, YouTube uh, stories and so on. But you know what I mean? Like I said, I don't, I don't judge but I haven't heard anything relevant in a while from him. But, you know, I'm not following him either that closely. I think, um, I think he, he might, fit, you know, he might still have a lot of emotions related, connected to being the bodyguard and, you know, big getting killed under his watch. Um, I mean, he. I think he. He. The, the first wave, he was saying what he he actually saw and felt and and so on. And then as time goes on, like, you know what I mean? Like, everything is is changeable, or you know what I mean? You shift a little. You emphasize something different, or what? Um, that f the first time I heard him talk about it, felt the most genuine. Mm-hmm.